Well, Coach, after what was a slow start and down 13 at one point, you saw frustration and you saw intensity, but what you didn't see was panic. How about the effort from your guys? Well, 26 of their 30-some points in the first half were off of our turnovers and them converting them or us not blocking them out in their offensive rebounds. So, you know, we knew if we could change that, which we did through the first half, we got back into it. And, uh, but our, this team just doesn't give up. And, you know, we're, neither does San Diego State. This is their third game in three days. Uh, I've been there before. I, I told the team at halftime that, you know, they're going to get tired. We, we've, this is only our second game. This is our third. That was a big advantage for us, and I think that was the difference. Well, you guys had four players in double figures tonight, but defensively made some incredible defensive stops. And someone who you said didn't get enough defensive credit, Gian Clavel, had a career-high six steals tonight. Yeah, he was terrific, and he willed us. When we got down 13, I mean, he wouldn't take no for an answer with a team that kind of had their head down the huddle. And he took over and talked to them and uh, – and, in much the way I talk to him sometimes in a very stern way, and, and uh, they responded to him, and I think it tells you what kind of player he is. Well, these guys are headed to the championship. The first time for Colorado State in that game since 2003, and you're playing Nevada, the team that you guys just had in that regular season finale title matchup. How hungry do you think these guys will be to come out here tomorrow? Well, I, I know that that Nevada is a different animal, I think, than any team in the league. They're special, and uh, they're extremely well coached. Eric's a great friend of mine, and it's going to take a real, real upset, but, you know, maybe it's the year for upsets.